joining YouTube, welcome to the channel. I'm Tyler Pikes. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm going to be showing you what you need to do with your flash sticks in order to get these Supermoto tires to fit on your dirt bike. All right, so first thing is first, you're going to need a dirt bike that you want to get Supermoto configuration on. Usually, guys go with 17-inch wheels, which I have. I'm, for the first time, trying these tires out. These are the Dunlap Q3s. I used to have the Cognac tires that were made specific for supermoto and i think i liked them a little more i did just shell out a few hundred bucks for these tires so i am not just gonna go right back to the contis but that'll be the tire i stick with down the road i just wanted to see what the dunlaps were about you know dunlaps cool it is like the tire to have you know they put it on all the factory edition bikes so i wanted to see what they were about uh the tread is actually a little less aggressive than i was expecting with all these side grooves and everything. And they just seem to be a, a little more there and noticeable than on the Contis. The Contis were, I think, as bare minimum as possible and set up to be taken to the track. But hey, they still got some lines. They're legal. Don't pull me over. I don't have slicks. Doing the right thing. So wheels, tires, that is something totally different that I'm not gonna really be covering in this video. You gotta get wheels and tires different than stock to be a supermoto bike. There's other stuff you can do to be a better supermoto bike, such as bigger front brake. I definitely think wraparounds are big for supermotos. But today, I am gonna be showing you the bare minimum what you have to do to make your dirt bike considered a supermoto bike and fit those tires with plastics because nobody wants to be running around without a front fender and without front fork guards. So these are the fork guards that came on the bike. And you can see I made some cuts to them, which I am going to be showing a more detailed video on cutting these right after this. But these tires are a lot wider than the normal dirt bike tire that comes on them. So when you go a lot wider, you can't fit those, which are the stock, at least size, plastic ones. That's my KTM off-road bike. This is my Husky on-road bike. So you're going to need to make a cut of some kind. Some guys just do a little notch. I did this whole thing down and this was actually my first set. This was my second set and I did a straight line all the way down and made a little notch to fit right there so the tire wasn't rubbing it. But shortly I'm going to go pick up some factory edition front fork guards that are going to look even cooler. Got the Rockstar logos on there. It's the factory edition one off of a factory edition bike. Looks super rad and those will be going on shortly after this segment of the video. It's going to be a couple seconds for you guys. It's going to be about an hour for me. Anyways, you can see I have the front fender off. So the front fender on the stock configuration bike is going to be a lot bigger. That is a lot bigger for a, a lot bigger tire. So what you're gonna wanna do is look up a Supermoto front fender. For me, Husqvarna makes a Supermoto dirt bike called the FS450. So I just went online and ordered an FS450 front fender. So it's a little bit smaller, you know, it's more compact this way and narrower and it just looks a lot better. I've seen a couple Supermoto bikes where they leave the stock fender on and it just looks funny because now the fender is sticking out like further than your tire does. So this makes the tires look a lot more fitting. And like I said, these plastics you actually need in order to fit that tire. You're not going to fit them with the stock ones. You're going to have to modify it in some way. So I'm going to get that fender on the bike and then I'm going to go pick up the new fork guards and I will show you exactly how and where you want to cut yours to fit those bigger tires. Fatter, shorter, more sticky, more fast. And just like that, front fender is on. So it's super easy. If you have a Husqvarna or a KTM, it's going to be the same exact thing. You got two little tabs right here. You just grab that, pull it off on both sides. Headlight comes up and out. The whole assembly goes out. And then you got two bolts that are right back there and two bolts that are right there. And the old one comes off and the new one goes right back on the same way. Super easy. For anybody that noticed, I actually already did have an FS450 Supermoto fender up front. It just, as you can see, has taken a bit of a beating. If anybody wants this, let me know. I put some Rockstar stickers on it and the same bulletproof designs down there in the back. So I got the same, almost same exact setup up here. The front is a little different with the FMF and the Rockstar layout. And I got the bulletproof designs sticker back there, as well as Rockstar up in the sides which I think just adds a nice little touch. 
and I just finished detailing the bike, so it's looking super clean. Now it's time for me to go pick up these front plastics, and then I will be back and show you exactly how to cut them. And if anybody wants my old kit for a Husqvarna, it'll work on a KTM as well. You can have my old one already set up for Supermoto. Just shoot me a DM on Instagram and we will make something work out. All right, so now over at the workbench, we finally got our new plastic guards. Here are the old ones. These have already been cut. Here are the new ones that we're gonna be cutting today. So there's a couple different ways I'm gonna show you and a couple little tricks and tips that I'm going to give you before actually getting into just ripping up our brand new plastics. So for sure, first thing, you're gonna wanna take it over to the bike, try to line it up, fit it on there and see about where it's gonna go. And then you see exactly where it's rubbing. So you can mark it with a Sharpie since you're gonna be cutting it off anyways, or just take a mental note and you can always cut more off. You can't put any more back on once you cut it off. So since I already have these ones that are cut and ended up perfect, I am going to kind of just try to replicate this. And then a tip that I would give, you can do this with an X-Acto knife, like a razor blade or a Dremel with a file, um, but you're gonna wanna clean it up with a knife afterwards. And you're cutting a good bit of plastic off. So all of this stuff that is not gonna be on the bike anymore anyways. I'd give yourself a couple practice runs, make a couple straight lines, make a couple curves in the stuff that you're going to be cutting off and throwing away anyways, because it's better to find out, oh, that strategy doesn't work on a piece that you're not gonna put on the bike rather than over here where, shoot, now I need new ones of these again. So time to get into the cutting. So I actually put it in a vise. I just am grabbing the plastic that is going to be thrown away. That way it's a little sturdier and we're, you know, immobilizing that so that can't move on me while I'm cutting. So I got my spot that I see that I wanna cut. I'm just gonna start going real slow, see where it goes. Change of plans, putting it sideways. one. All right, so I got my first piece taken off. Now I'm going to clean up this whole edge with the razor blade. And then what I'm still going to end up having to do with doing it this way, where I just kind of follow that line that's already on this, is I'm going to have to take it over to the bike again, see where it's hitting the tire, and then I'm going to make a little notch to fit right around the tire. Never cut towards yourself. So this cleans that edge up and makes it look a lot nicer than if you're just leaving it finished with the file. I'm gonna do a little more off camera and then we're gonna get it fitted on the bike and make the final cut. And there you have it. Once you make your cuts, you bolt it back up on the bike and now your 17 inch wheels and whatever meaty tires you got fit right in there. I make it as tight as possible. It looks like it's touching from that angle, but I swear it's not. We got a little room. Uh, I don't know how those things are gonna do. I, I did cut myself. Um, these things will probably end up getting torn off, so might pull it and shave even a little more off. Uh, I guess I'll see how it does. Because there is a little gap right there. Like I'm saying, the camera isn't picking it up too well, but we got a gap there and we got a gap on this side. Uh, again, not really picking that one up, but I swear there's a gap. It's just super tight. But once you get those cut, those will fit right back on. You got the smaller fender and it just looks a lot better around that tire. So those are the two plastic adjustments, those two things right there that you need to change in order to make your Supermoto actually a Supermoto and work with 17 inch wheels and look right. I actually have found, believe it or not, more things I wanna do to this bike. So down the road, once this is completely done, I am going to make a how-to Supermoto your bike video and show every single piece that you gotta change out in order to actually make it a top end performing Supermoto bike. Anyways, that is gonna do it for today's video. If you guys like the bike, like the content, make sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you guys wanna see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I also have a KTM 300, so that's my two stroke off-road only bike. This is my Supermoto on-road only bike. And as I mentioned, I got a few more projects down the road for this one. When I bought it, I thought I was done working on it because it was done, it was awesome. But uh, you find yourself going down these rabbit holes, finding other cool stuff to do, and I enjoy doing it, and I enjoy making videos doing it. So 
needless to say, there's gonna be a few more projects on this bike, probably on that bike, and numerous other trucks that have been on the channel. So make sure to subscribe and stick around. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, see you later.